last couple of days, my work brought me to the countries of Italy and Germany. And on both occasions, I had the time to just walk around, take in the local sites. And at no point was I ever expecting to see the exact same thing in both countries. After all, they are different countries with a different climate, different culture and even different languages. And yet, when I left my six-figure corporate job, somehow I expected things to be the same. In this video, I will answer why that is the biggest career mistake you can make when changing careers and also what you can do about it. Hello together, my name is Kai and some say that this channel is about careers and leadership and how to turn that into a fulfilled life. And while that is true, this channel is really about asking the right questions and gaining a fresh perspective on careers. And as with everything else in life, this is a journey and I'm really glad that you're part of it. Now, when I said that I expected everything to be the same when I left my corporate job, I wasn't talking about the work or the tasks and responsibilities. That would be silly, then I didn't have to change careers. If you spend any significant amount of time in a job or a role or a career, it will influence the way you speak, you act, or you interact with others, the circle of friends you build or how you spend your free time and money. In other words, your career has a profound impact on the life you build. And we as humans are adverse to change. Our tendency is to keep everything the way it is. So despite changing careers and doing something completely different than before, I was still spending a huge amount of time thinking about the past. Not so much about the work itself, but the things that came with it, the praise for a job well done, or the people I surrounded myself with, or the routines that I developed. And so while building up this new career, my thoughts were still very much focused on the past, on the way my life used to be. What I did not realize immediately is the cost that this comes with. It's like going to Italy and looking for a German Christmas market. You might even find a Christmas market there, but you will be disappointed. And all the while you spend your time looking for a Christmas market in Italy, you miss out on all the little gems that the Italian culture has to offer. This is what happens when you change careers and keep looking towards the past. Now, this isn't to say that you should ignore the past. You still very much can be proud of what you've achieved. You still very much can learn from your successes and your mistakes. And of course, you keep building on your life experience that you've gained. But if you want to make your career change a success, you have to open up yourself to a new culture of doing things. Maybe you worked in finance and now you want to enter the tech world. Very different way of doing things. Or you were a teacher and want to become a consultant and on the surface that sounds very similar, but it isn't. Because as a teacher you focus on the knowledge that you have and you want to give that to people around you. Whereas as a consultant you have to very narrowly focus on the parts and bits of your knowledge that gives the highest return to your clients. So if I had to do it all over again, here is what I would do. First of all, practice gratitude for the old job. Even if you really hated your old career, there will be things that you will be proud of. There are things that you've learned that set you up for the future. And by practicing gratitude for the past, you also make sure that it maintains to be part of you. And in that way, you never have to regret leaving it. For the past seven minutes, I was just sitting here waiting for the big church next door, the Cologne Dome, to stop ringing the bells so that you can hear me. And I think... No, it hasn't stopped. The second thing I would do is educating myself more on how things are done in my new career. What are people talking about and interested in? How do they like to spend their time and money? Because those are the things that I have to immerse myself in, in the new career. And then the third thing is to put those two things together, to create a vision for my life, how it looks like when I start my new job. 
What type of routines would I like to develop? What type of people do I want to surround myself with? And what are the things of my old life that I can potentially miss? And what do I want to replace it with? A new career is an exciting way to reinvent yourself. And the best way to do that is with your eyes wide open. Here on this channel, we cover a range of topics on how to turn a successful career into one that aligns with your life and vision. Leave me a comment down in the comment section below with the one thing that stands between you and your perfect life. That way, I can cover that in one of the upcoming videos. I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.